Hi guys, it's me, it's Kian, and I have decided to do another late night stream. I seem to have turned into a late night owl. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm trying to sort this thing out. I've got a bit more light than normal, a little bit more light than normal, um, but... I'm waiting for a new light source thing to come and a new like a boom thing sorry about that, my nail broke it's a thing that can go overhead so I can attach a camera so I can do overhead shots properly because this is just annoying the bejesus out of me absolutely annoying the bejesus out of me I've just spent the last, well, I was going to start about half an hour ago, so I'm only going to do about an half an hour stream, if I can get any knitting into it. Uh, but I was going to do uh, about an hour, but uh, half an hour's gone and it's half past one now. Anyway, as you can see, uh, somewhere, there we are, over there I think. Yeah, As you can see, that's uh, I've got to sew that in. So we look this way, shall we? I've uh, done some more to this scarf while I've sat and watched a few streamers. Um, yeah, I've got this here actually to remind me what side um, to sew in. So when I come to change to the gold again. Um, I know what side to do. And I've also worked out I need seven, no, I need eight, eight of these sections. Eight of these. Uh, so that's, that's a block of 40. That's a block of six. That's a block of six. That's a block of six. So the whole block is uh, 52, 58. Rows of 58, so I've got to do six more rows of 58. Oh, that's gonna take me forever. So, I I need to crack on with it because uh, I, I promised Kian he can have it for Christmas. <laughs> I've still got one going. Oh dear, dear, dear. So, yeah, um, and um. Well, I, I was thinking about some things I could do, um, but I need to get the overhead overhead camera angle so you can see overhead, obviously, because that's why you would have an overhead camera angle, isn't it? Um, and I was thinking about teaching, um, there's a bajillion of them online anyway, but I thought maybe perhaps I could uh, show you how to do some crochet stitches such as a cable stitch, the different types of cable stitches that I've learnt, um, how to do, I don't know, just how to do stuff. Oh, and like the pineapple stitch and things like that because I was chatting to somebody earlier on. Um, on on Twitch, and uh, she was saying that she 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 couldn't follow her. Ouch! 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 She she was uh, saying that she was having a tr trouble following like a pattern for something that looks so complicated, but it's actually extremely easy really is it very 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 easy to follow um so i thought maybe i could do something like that for videos and things when i get the overhead one perhaps not so much for like on stream but you know that sort of thing and uh yeah uh so that's what i plan on doing i've got the microphone on my head because I've got literally an arm here 
Uh, I've put in a request for a, a new a microphone. I've just got to wait and see whether my husband will get it for me. Um, and it's supposed to be quite good for a USB one because I can't use an, uh, one of those awful plug-in things. I've got one. I've got the arm for it, the cradle for it, everything. But the blooming thing uh, won't sit in my computer. Uh, jack slot, so that annoys the hell out of me. Literally annoys the hell out of me. Because then it just seems like I'm wasting money. Uh, what have you. So yeah. So hopefully then I won't have to have this thing over my head. Because it gives me an headache. And the lights. Oh my dizzles. <coughs> I'm going to... I've ordered like a selfie light that can clip onto my selfie uh it's like a round glow light oh goopy i really shouldn't be doing this now i really shouldn't be doing this now i think it might not flash <laughs> anyway yeah i'll put some music on I think give you half hours worth of music and then uh, you can listen to that and if you want to chat feel free to chat I'm just going to sit here and knit for that half hour oh, you caught me all as well it's going to be the boring same old stuff that I've been any other time because that's all basically I've got I just still haven't got around to getting any more. So, da! Okay. You can't hear it. You can now. And, as an added extra bonus, uh, you should be able to see a little picture of my other works that I've done. So maybe I will swap the pictures over and do a small knitting one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Right. Uh, we will go down there with that one. And then we will go... Where is it gone? This is all new. There we go. I think it's that one. Unblock um, it. There it is. And here you go. You can look at some of the things that I actually can make while I'm knitting in this little corner. There. And I'll lock that and I'll lock that on. There you go. I think that's probably worked, has it? Yeah, there you go. You can still see me. I think. Yeah. Right, well, I'm just going to do this. So if you got anything you want to say, feel free to say it. If not, I shall sit here and let you watch my video. Um, and oh yeah, I've changed my name a few times. So this is all my work that I've actually done. Um, but the patterns were um. I copied patterns, not like they were thing. I copied the patterns uh, off of YouTube's. So, obviously, apart from a few other things, are the um, I've also got jewelry in there that I've done, knitting, crochet. Um, what else? 
That's ontolac or ontolock, that's knitted, that is. And then you've got a nice queen, cold queen hat. That I made for about three different people now. And I made that for my granddaughter. And it don't fit her. Well, it didn't fit her when I got it. It was too small, uh, too big. No, she was too big. So, the slippers are yarn utopias. Mermaid blankets. Oh, look, I blocked my name. I actually finished that cross stitch. I finished it for my mum before she died. She loved it. She put it in the bathroom. I really wish I'd have been able to get it back when she passed away, but all that time and effort. That's life. That's life, Jim, but not just when no one.
Oh, and if you can see behind me, actually, uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but it's a blanket I've done with all my odds and sod bits. <sighs> Scrap yarns and everything and uh, what I've used. I made that Christmas tree, oh my gosh, about 25 years ago. And it still looks as good as new. I made that for a friend of my partner's who passed away and he was buried with his bottle pot water bottle which was covered with that so that is now in a graveyard in somebody's coffin with them in Hull that blue one made a load of other ones as well all sort of like thingies but that was my first ever entrelock he had cancer uh, and I wanted to give him something that would keep him warm um, was it, I didn't know. That's the only way I could think of helping. And uh, my partner went up to see him and took it up to him, and he loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I felt quite honoured that he wanted to be buried with it, to be honest with you. That was uh, really thoughtful. So maybe in thousands of years' time, when you know people are digging up our bones, to see what it was like in this year, in this uh, millennium, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I might be a little bit of me still running around. Well, won't be running around, will I? You know, like in Pompeii and things like that, they can see what you're wearing and Pharaoh's tombs and things. And they can still have bits and pieces. You never know, it might last. It doesn't have my name on it or anything, but that is mine. And that's a crocodile blanket I made. It's more like a heritage thing. But I made it and I give it to my next door neighbour when her daughter had a baby. Crocodile blanket. I made my son a Batman hat. He loves his Batman hat. <laughs> He's 30 years old and he loves a Batman hat. Silly Billy. And all these granny squares I made into a blanket, which you'll see in a second. And that's for one of my daughters, but oh well, she can have that when uh, I'm dead. She doesn't, doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So she wouldn't accept it, so I'll just leave it for when I've gone. Uh, I made that for my sister-in-law's son. Apparently he loved it. This is a bubble stitch Spider-Man. I... You know those little bead things you can use, uh, do, I don't know if you iron them or something. Well, anyway, I just copied the pattern, you know, on square paper and I turned it into a 
put uh, these um, stockings, apart from the big snowflakes on that, where that particular one was a uh, my attempt at doing it of my uh, of my head but there was two others which I bought patterns for from a lady called Mary Smith on Ravelry and these are the, the reversible scarves the green and the blue one are completed and I was halfway through doing the pink one and if you turn them the other way they're the, they're the colours so like the pink one was pink and white pink with white writing on one side and white with pink writing on the other I made those uh, for my sister-in-law no that wasn't for my sister-in-law's wedding she wanted uh, butterflies on hers I made those their wedding combs I think I still got them actually um, and I made that uh, a friend of mine who asked me if I could do that uh, and that was just I was faffing about but I really liked it I included in painting the eye and um, painted that eye as well and I've done that one too when I was doing wire working that's my son's my eldest son's blanket half done I have actually finished it. It's just a square um, log cabin square that is. Uh, we're back to going through all. I got other. I got other stuff as well. But this is the pineapple stitch on the jersey. Um, but I've got another thing around somewhere. But I. Oh yeah. I really ought to get better, I think. I always leave it to the last minute. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I'm feeling a bit sick actually. I think I'm gonna have to turn this fire off. Ah Bugger. I don't think you can see anything now, so